Hi Anjali, hi Amrita. I am Rohit. What's from News Eighty? Hi. Yeah. So um, I recently talked to Amrita um, during uh, Bombay Begums, and yes. uh, so I still remember the song that you sang there. But uh, today we are here about uh, DT. Um, yes. So um, what's the film about? Also, it's like Sumitra Bhavi's last film. So, uh, and a lot of big names are associated with it, like Mohan Nagashe, Girish Kulkarni, you guys are there. So, like, uh, an ensemble of really, really good cast. So, um, so t- tell me something about the film and then we will uh, proceed towards other questions. Sure. First, Anjali. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, yeah, the... Uh, the film is about how to come in terms with loss of a loved one. The grief, you know, that, that grief is so, it is, you know, it, it stabs you again and again and again. And we all have gone through it, you know, and we feel shattered and we don't know what to do because uh, we think that we have come in terms with it. And when again, it comes and then we are again uh, in tears. So this big loss, how to come in terms with it. And it's a strange coincidence, as I said, that, you know, uh, I started my career with uh, Sumitra Bhave and I made my debut with her. And with every film, with every character, she taught me a lesson, many lessons. And what a strange coincidence that her last film happens to be a lesson where she teaches me how to come in terms with loss of a loved one. A difficult lesson and uh, I'm trying to learn it because uh, 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 because I mean what choice do we have actually and uh, but but still you know it's not all helplessness because this film teaches us how to be centered go beyond transcend this grief and uh, it talks about the Siddhant of Advaita you know non-duality and uh, she talks about, we have a great, very, very great saint called Gnaneshwar. We, we pronounce it, uh, the name as Gnaneshwar. Uh, in Hindi, you can pronounce it as Gnaneshwar. And Gnaneshwar wrote this, uh, 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 you know, uh, his, his creation was called Amrita Nubhav. And there is this, uh, this Siddhant of non-duality in which he writes an Abhanga, which, which talks about non-duality that, you know, the nose and the fragrance becomes one. The ear and the hearing becomes one. So, you know, that, that, that kind of a very spiritual abhanga. And this film ends on this abhanga. Ata amu, ata amu the sunasi zali. That's what the, uh, the words are. And it's a very beautiful abhanga, which talks about this non-duality. That we all are connected. Of course, you, me, and also these trees, the whole universe, we all are connected. This siddhant of non-duality. And this connect will give us strength to come in terms with this loss, you know, and life is full of such losses and life is also about loss. Like the, uh, recently I was saying that, you know, we hear, we are hearing a lot of bad news right now, you know, we are losing many lives, but at the same time, uh, in, in last month, my driver gave, his wife gave birth to a, a, like he had son you know and then there was birth so life and death happening at the same time you know and uh, we have to be centered in all this uh, 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 stress of life so it is about that I think how to be centered and go beyond and transcend and still you know it it connects us to that space inside us that's what I think very uh, well put and with a lot of philosophy also so, uh, but let me just uh, add, Rohit, sorry, it's not preachy. I mean, right now no, I might sound, not, yeah, it's not preachy because the, as the Abhanga comes, you know, when I saw the film for the first time at Mami, it was a very emotional experience that all of us were crying and those tears were not only of pain, they were of transcending and of going beyond, you know. So uh, that's the greatest part of her as a filmmaker, that she can make these complicated siddhantas into an emotional experience, you know. Do that, do that. And also, like uh, uh, by philosophy, I meant that there is a lot of background to it, a yes. uh, lot of layering to it, also. And uh, um, I remember that Anjali, I first talked to you long time back when this film came, uh, Delhi in a Day. That was also your Ooh. first film, I guess. Yes. Uh, 
and uh, i i watched that film and everybody like i watched it with a group of friends and everybody was like uh, who who is this person like such a such a good actor and uh, so now after uh, uh, after these many years and we see you uh, becoming this really good actress and who could hold whole things together in a project so and now when you came to this film and uh, while you were working with uh, amruta or mohan agashi or girish kulkarni and, and somehow the focus will be on you because you are the person who is dealing with somebody's death so uh, what was your approach to it like how did you approach your character your role and what was your thought process i think the best part about it was there was no thought process there was only living and with me i became like this little uh, like an ant you know i was like an ant and by mistake she gets into uh, uh, you know a uh, um somewhere where there are just stacks of sugar and i was like oh oh there is amruta there is mohan agashe there is dilip prabhavalkar girish uh, kishor dada and of course sumitra maushi so so i was just like this ant and trying to get as many sugar <laughs> grains as possible uh so i think i was absolutely thoughtless i was just being there watching these uh, beautiful beings beautiful artists creating magic and uh, learning learning bhi kuch nahi matlab no agenda just be there <laughs> just watch them doing their job uh i think it took me a long time to work with uh, sumitra maushi because uh, we have met 15 years ago when i was 17 uh, she met me uh, for uh, for a film but that film didn't happen because i was really young uh, and and it took me all these years to finally come uh, and and work uh, it was a very divine coincidence that i got to work with her uh, and uh, with with the best part about uh, sumitra bhave's filmmaking is uh, her her observation skill and and the process of making the film she uh she will give us the landscape she will give us all the details uh so we would be as authentic as possible we can live she will facilitate this process of living uh and it it's very painless it's very smooth and we will only be living uh, like at, at least that's what was my experience uh that everyone was living their characters through this landscape through the monsoon uh through this village uh and she she was observing uh us she was observing life through through us through these characters uh so i think becoming as transparent as possible uh for for her to facilitate this process was the only uh only unconscious thing which which happened and which i also took from with me from from that experience that all you need to do when you have a very sensitive uh, person uh like sumitra maushi herself you need to just filter your impurities you know you need to shut down your chatter so she can she can transcend you to to a level and and take out the good stuff and also like we you um, very rightly uh, explained the synergy between uh, a good director and a good actor so uh, but i'm slightly transgressing here uh, from because uh, this film is coming on ott and uh, otts have opened a whole lot of new opportunities for every actor especially really like actors actors for stars it was different for actors it is always different like these two are two separate things in india for sure like now we shouldn't have any uh, uh, problem in in bifurcating these two things actors are actors the stars are like stars can be sometimes actors but mostly they are stars so but with otts and everything uh, uh, so i would start with you anjali that uh, do you think that it will kind of bridge a gap uh like in regional cinema i shouldn't call regional cinema i i should call it like different language cinema 
and hindi because sometimes you don't get that kind of a chance in hindi but uh, but in language films regional language films be it marathi telugu tamil you you get powerful roles and and the the good thing is that with ott you can make the world realize about the latent potential there so what's your what's your uh, take on that yes definitely i mean uh, coming back to delhi in a day which was my first film 10 years ago it was one of those films which just started going to the film festival it was one of the whistleblower films uh, that started this festival culture i mean of course there was a festival culture but when i came in the industry uh, you know i i was i was happy doing festival films and then i was thrown into the commercial aspect of it, of it with with other films and i was really baffled for a very long time and i also had the same struggle that do, you, do i choose uh, you know uh, cinema which which reflect my values and my understanding of life and art and whatever i have studied or i go for something which a society or a structure has given to you know a society has given as as a star or a success so it was a it was a long struggle and uh, and we all kind of went through that struggle of choosing uh, some of us uh, you know tried to balance in between found the balance within themselves i'm not talking about you know a good I cinema or commercial cinema but as an artist uh, and finally when this ott uh, culture came in i was uh, the 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 absolute very extreme theater lover you know the cinema lover in me that oh i want to see my film released in a theater was little bit you know thoda sa i was little uh, grumpy Tho- thoda dukh to hua ki are yaar theater mein release uh honi chahiye film but then slowly i i i could see the the best part of it that oh it's it's like giving so many possibilities to to all kinds of cinema to different taste someone someone like to have a chinese on 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 a on a thela someone would like to have a sushi in a very you know swanky restaurant someone would like to have a pani puri and and that's what ott did ott gave space to individual stories uh, individual styles directors actors from all over the world uh, and regional cinema does that more because the stakes are low uh, in terms of uh, you know it doesn't have this burden of itna paisa kamana hi hai and with ott that's already you know out of the game itna paisa kamana hi hai it's then the thing is that okay a good story good performers uh, something which, which is engaging something which is entertaining uh, so entertainment ke maayne badle hain aur bahut achhi disha mein mujhe lagta hai ki badal rahe hain so i i look at ott as absolute blessing this is blessing uh, this is in fact blessing because i will tell you why um, i will i will come back to you uh, once i hear amrita's side i will again come back to you because uh, amrita has been working in these uh, uh, like really big shows and uh, everybody knows that you know knows about those shows and at the same time she has this uh, stature of a really big star actor in marathi cinema so uh, i just wanted to know from amrita that uh, um, sometimes there are actors who are really big in language films or language tv shows but somehow mainstream so called mainstream bollywood hindi films they don't get that kind of opportunities so uh, how do you see that see this like do you see this as lack of opportunity or do you see as just a different different way of film making i think now these barriers are breaking that's what i think you know that uh, uh, you know because when i did gully boy i did not do it as a commercial film or as- or what like for me it has always been the content i would always be driven by content good content or like the content which i find i cannot connect with that kind of content and that doesn't mean that i'm not going to do commercial cinema for that matter for those those things but i can connect to some of the characters there for example a villain character if in that film it i can uh, you know uh, think of that like you know some if like khilji if khilji there is some lady khilji you know <laughs> 
<laughs> so like i would like to explore that space so as far as i'm concerned uh, content has been the driving factor for me and uh, so i and i think these barriers are it's a very good time to be in for a, for a good actor because the barriers are getting mixed now you know in mingling because i i realized that uh, when ott was like didn't exist i have been working uh, from those times and then the they would ask like even sumitra maushi some of the films they would have national awards and they would ask people like audience would ask me oh we want to see that film how can we watch that film and i would be like yeah yeah it will come and i'll tell you and then i'll be uh, apologetic and i'll be like yeah yeah you will be able to watch it something like that but now all her films are in uh, i i really want to congratulate sony live for uh, you know uh, taking this film and they are bringing it to you tomorrow and so it's so good that now everyone who wants to see it can see it and as anjali said that there's no pressure of you know making money and everything and the films there are there is audience who wants to see this film there is big audience for this films and then ott has made it possible uh, you know for those audience to watch these films and i got so many messages that finally we can watch us too finally we can watch now dithi so i'm very happy with this uh, uh, movement and as you said yes uh, uh, when i was younger i used to always feel that you know i want to always do meaningful work and i didn't know that ott would happen but then as anjali said even i feel it as as a blessing because it has given me opportunity like when we had talked i had told you that you know i never thought that you know there is there was a time when people would think ki aapko agar dance dance karna hai to ek age mein hi karna padega like you know you can't be getting roles where you can dance after certain age but then lily got me that thing who is seductive and you know so Uh, I think for for actors, this OTT has given this vast opportunities, and then I'm very very grateful. Exactly. So uh, no, you explained it. Uh, so coming back to you, Anjali. Anjali has worked in like films like Chakra View, which was made at such a, a huge budget and well publicized, big films, and uh, she has also worked in these uh, um, you know thinking films. uh which required the audience to invest themselves into so um how do you see the difference do you think that bollywood works on a set template and people who don't fit into that you know set template uh, don't get that kind of opportunity then mm. i think i i used to think like that 3 4 five years ago when when i was kind of you know i i did chak review and then all of a sudden a lot of things were thrown at me uh, you know wearing high heels and you know putting on makeup and going and socializing and you know the school we come from national school of drama and and that kind of background it's it's i i used to like not really enjoy all those things i used to think no no i need to work on my craft i need to read books i need to do something else to uh, to prove myself as an artist as an actor and then i it it took me a while to understand that okay maybe all these things are also part of that uh, you know and in last 3 4 years it has changed so much everything about the industry and performance art like performing industry has changed so much with the youtube the influencers the instagram and it's you you are like okay you know either you evolve or extend so <laughs> for me now it's like i need to work on my stuck ideas of how i i want to live and express myself and there are certain mediums i am comfortable with there are certain mediums i cannot relate with it I, you know i'm zero in it i have no skill or co- like you know no no craft about i can't make reels you know so i just <laughs> got to know that this i can't make reels okay but i'm still trying i will be mediocre at it but who cares you know as long as i am happy uh, i'll i'll keep doing it so i uh, i think when when i came in the that time was really it was a transitioning time because you know people used to uh, call me unconventional beauty dusky beauty and i used to be like really pissed ki unconventional beauty mane kya you know dusky beauty mane kya 
and now in last two three years when i see uh, you know uh, different skin tones coming in in and it's cool abhi cool hai you know to to <laughs> for the brands it's cool to have a, a darker skin tone girl representing there तो ऐसे थोड़ा ऐसे ये भी लगता था कि यार अपने वक्त क्यों अपन को इतना स्ट्रगल करना पड़ा बट दैट्स हाउ इट इज राइट लाइक यू 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 या इट गोज ऑन एंड आई थिंक द द विमेन और द गर्ल्स और हुएवर वुड कम नाउ प्रोबेबली विल हैव अ मोर ओपन पोरस लैंडस्केप टू टू एक्सप्रेस देमसेल्व्स एंड वी हैड टू प्ले आर स्ट्रगल वी हैड टू प्ले आर पार्ट uh so i'm very happy that things are really changing or jo centralization tha na matlab kisi ek ke paas mein jo sari taakat thi that has you know democratizing uh, you know, yeah so i'm very happy about it and i inshallah ye aise hi diverse hota rahe hey abhi to hoga aur hoga uh vamika has been giving me hints that uh, this chat is going to finish in like 4 minutes 5 minutes so uh, um but uh, i am really enjoying it i want to continue it but she won't permit it so before i uh, sign off before we uh, stop this uh, video just one thing you want uh, everybody to know about your uh, your film and uh, uh, one line about like how would you explain and what would you ask the viewer about your film one final message um i think what I, what i already said that you know we can be in terms with anything like you know the self inside us can deal with anything under the roof so let's have that uh, strength and i think this film will give you that strength it will introduce you to that space inside you so do watch it tomorrow on like 21st of may on sony uh anjali you want to say anything uh yes it's a it's a film with with all the love uh and uh, it will heal all of us together uh so yes i i think it will be a very beautiful experience for the audience so on that note uh i have used up most of my time and uh, it was <laughs> a great conversation though i am not i i want to want it to continue even more but <laughs> mamika is not going to permit it but so on that note <laughs> all the best for your film and we will talk about it uh, once more sometime back sometime sometime sure, sure thank you thank you so thank much you.